Do not buy 12 Tribes on Earth hair growth oil and hair magic elixir unless you want super healthy, gorgeous hair that grows. They have a whole line of amazing hair growth products, including hair growth leave-in conditioner spray, hair growth shampoo, hair growth spray, and hair growth butter. I'm starting to sense a theme here. They include quality natural ingredients. They smell amazing. And you can see the results for yourself. So if you're looking for healthy hair growth for your natural or relaxed hair, try 12 Tribes on Earth today. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know when Elon Musk launched the rocket, the SpaceX Starship, and it exploded? it actually halted several airlines from flying their planes. And, you know, see what a major inconvenience this thing is. And these explosions are more common than uncommon. And it's gonna to continue to be this way. You know, this is not the end. There's probably gonna be many more explosions to come. I'm going to go ahead and play a video for you from CNBC, and I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. The FAA briefly halting flights to several Florida airports last night. This following a testing failure from Elon Musk's rocket company, SpaceX. Affected airports included Miami International and facilities serving Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and Orlando. Now, a live stream of the eighth test of the test, test flight for SpaceX's Starship showing several rocket engines appearing to cut out. The company then lost communication with the spacecraft and video showed debris raining down. SpaceX was able to successfully launch the rocket's booster engine at its facility at the southern tip of Texas. And it's, it's a very unusual situation because it's, it seems so bizarrely beautiful to watch these things rain down, but when you think about what is raining down, it is not. Well, and how thing. expensive uh, it, it, it is, but these. Well, are that's the, part. Of, that's part of it. Coming in four to five. I just think it's, when you see all of this stuff coming down, it's not. It, it looks beautiful in the moment, but the truth is, to be, well, the FAA had to stop flight. It's debris. No, that's right. what I'm saying. But it's it, not. The, it, it nothing seems beautiful to be about it. Taken for granted that there will be more as the testing continues. This will happen. More. Probably many times. Yes. Before. Yeah. And, and it, we're leading to something where hopefully it stops happening completely. But we can only hope. Exactly. Okay. So you heard the video. So it gets deep. And we know Elon Musk think he is above following rules. Well, the FAA, remember he fired a whole bunch of people over there? You know why? Because the FAA has been requiring Elon to do a written investigation on why these spaceships keep failing. And he doesn't want to be bothered with doing this. So, you know, they were investigating him. So if you want to know why he is going hard after certain agencies, just look up that agency and see if they are investigating Elon Musk because the FAA was one of those agencies. So they briefly halted flights to several Florida airports. And this was, you know, and they had to remain halted until Thursday night. And it was after the SpaceX uh, Starship failure the incident marks the second time this year, because you remember about a month ago, he had a seventh flight and that also exploded. So during the test flight of Starship resulting in debris raining down and commercial flights disrupted, affected airports, including Miami International Airport, which is an American Airlines hub, an airport serving Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and Orlando, Florida, the regulator, in a statement on Thursday, said it's requiring SpaceX to perform a mishap investigation into the loss of the Starship vehicle 
during the launch operations on March 6. And the struggle is Elon don't want to abide by the rules. He wants to do what he wants to do. So during the event, the FAA said it activated a debris response area and briefly slowed aircraft outside the area where the space vehicle debris was falling or stopped aircraft at their departure location. Normal operations have resumed. So SpaceX said in a post on X Thursday night during Starship Ascend Burn, the vehicle experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly and contact was lost. The team immediately began coordinating with safety officials to implement pre-planned contingency responses. Yeah, because you probably already knew this crap was going to blow up. So, Elon-led aerospace and defense contractor also said it plans to review the data from today's flight to better understand the root cause of the mishap. The spaceship took off from the company's spaceport near Brownsville, Texas at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time for its eighth flight. So each one of these flights, ladies and gentlemen, they do live stream them. So you can see what's happening. And of course, it, it seems like it's the same scenario each and every time the thing ultimately blows up mid-flight. So <clears throat> on the 16th of January, the same thing, flights had to be diverted after SpaceX Starship rocket broke up. The FAA warns of space vehicle debris falling. And this is where it fell in the Caribbean and here and the ocean, which we know that's got to be a hazard right there. You know, and they certainly don't even talk about any cleanup. I mean, is there any cleanup after these disasters? Y'all never talk about any cleanup because I don't think civilians should be touching this stuff that comes back down. It, nobody should be touching it other than SpaceX or some government agency that goes out and cleans it up. That's just my opinion. So y'all, please tell me what you think about Elon now is disrupting flights over these rocket launches that ultimately ends in failure each and every time. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.